Hey guys, welcome to another whiskey review. Uh, my name is Andrew and I am enthusiastic about whiskey. Today we're going to review this year's Four Roses Limited Edition Small Batch, uh, which just released earlier this fall. Uh, these Limited Edition Small Batches are a yearly release by Four Roses. Uh, however, this year they actually did two small batch limited releases. They did one earlier in the year that was done specially to commemorate Al Young's 50th anniversary with the distillery. That is a separate batch from this. Um, this small batch, as you can see, was uh, composed of barrels that contained 15-year-old OESK. Uh, if you don't know the Four Roses, mash bills uh, i would encourage you to go to four roses website they explain what these different letters mean um, but four roses does things a little bit differently with their mash bills and their yeast strains we're not going to get into them in this video uh, but i'll go back to what i was saying 15 year oesk 13 year oesk and some 12 year oesv which means that uh, for the first time as far as i can tell there is no uh, high rye B mash bill at all in this. Uh, it's all the E mash bill, which means that this has a uniform mash of 75% corn, 20% rye, and 5% barley malt. So let's go ahead and hop right into the review. Um, as you can see by my handy little placard here, uh, our website is now officially live, whiskeyenthusiast.com. Uh, I'm going to try to keep the distillery info, the history, the chemistry, a lot of that extra information in the written reviews on the website. We'll try and keep these video reviews a little bit shorter, focused really just on the tasting notes, the score, the recommendation. Um, go ahead and check out the site if you want. They've got, like I said, tons of written reviews, way more reviews than what we have here on YouTube. Uh, some fun articles, distillery profiles, whiskey facts, uh, links to get to our YouTube channel as well as to the Facebook group, which is actually where the community happens uh, The WBSC Facebook group. We're about 16,000 people in right now and most of you watching this are probably watching this through the Facebook group So I'm preaching to the choir man, but uh, if you want to get to know all of us, that's where you need to be Let's go ahead and get started four roses 2017 limited edition small batch. We'll start with the nose The nose really starts out with a nice, silky, kind of a vanilla latte type profile. It's a warm, creamy vanilla. There's a nice, rich uh, baking spice, kind of like cinnamon, allspice, things that you'd throw uh, into your desserts and cookies. And a nice, kind of underlying oak backbone. Uh, it's slightly dry but far from tannic or bitter there's also a little bit of fruit kind of reminiscent of plum cots i don't know if you guys have plum cots wherever you're watching from i live in iowa and we make plum cots uh, it's a combination of a plum and an apricot it's kind of the, the the fruit note that i get here on the aroma let's bounce to the palate The palate, first thing I notice, has just an excellent, creamy, silky mouthfeel. Uh, it just sits like silk on your tongue, coats your mouth, before I even taste anything. That is uh, an excellent start to this dram. But it is full of flavor. There's very little heat here for being uh, a barrel-proof bourbon, about 54% alcohol by volume. Very little heat. Uh, but tons of flavor, just gobs of honey. Uh, there's a lot of that creamy vanilla, uh, almost like a vanilla pudding, and more uh, just kind of a, a bouquet of baking spices that really accent the sweets. Uh, a lot of cinnamon here. Uh, and then mid-palate and into the finish, it actually gets a little fruity. Sweet fruits, things like uh, candied apple, uh, maybe a little bit of candied 
or sugary or overripe strawberry even. Really neat palette. Um, you know, th this is complex enough that it's not confusing, but it's far from one dimensional. You know, it's got all the essential ingredients. It's got the sweet, it's got the spice, it's got the fruit. There's nothing bitter, there's nothing overwhelming, there's nothing cloying, there's nothing off. I think that's the best description for this whiskey is that there are no off notes. Everything here is flawlessly executed. Let's do one more sip, we're gonna finish. finish picks up pretty much where the palate left off. Uh, some of those sweeter fruits, uh, they get a little bit more complex here, something kind of like lemon peel creeps in, but it really fades with nice creamy vanilla and honey, just a touch of spice. Oh, but man, that, that vanilla honey complex is just fantastic. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and rate this whiskey now in, in case, um, that's all you want to see, um, but then after I rate it, I'll try it again with just a little bit of water uh, just to see what it does to it. But it's just going to rate very well with me. Well, that's bad handwriting. Sorry. 96 out of 100. 96 out of 100, which I believe puts this in probably the top five, maybe top four of any type of whiskey all time for me. Uh, this whiskey is absolutely superb. I would highly recommend it if you find it, uh, you know, just probably at this point in the season, it's gonna get pretty rare, you know, as far as finding it on a shelf in a store is gonna go. MSRP was about a hundred bucks. Uh, this is an absolute buy it now if you see it on the shelf. But if you see a pour at a bar, Man, if you like good bourbon, you got to try this. Um, this is one that I will say secondary value for this bottle right now seems to be sitting right around $200. Uh, not very many bourbons or American whiskeys do I recommend purchasing them at the secondary price, but honestly, I think that I would spend a couple hundred dollars on this. Uh, you know, as that big splash um, special occasion, you know, if you're looking for it for your your big limited edition purchase for the fall, uh, honestly, I would pick this secondary over any Buffalo Trace Antique Collection, which are probably going to be double the price, even though they retail for the same. Uh, man, you cannot go wrong with this bourbon. All right. If anybody cares to keep watching, we're going to add a little bit of water, a little bit of extra experimentation. It doesn't need water. We're just going to see if water changes it at all. Just a couple half droppers, which comes out to a little more than a quarter teaspoon is all. Nose with the water picks up a lot more of a heavier vanilla note. Uh, much more vanilla on the nose than without the water. Uh, and a little bit more fruit. Sweeter fruit, creamier fruit, um, picking up an additional note of, of like cherry. Same with the palate. Believe it or not, I think I actually, I think the water even elevates the palate of this whiskey even further. Really gets creamy, strawberry cream, cherry cream, uh, just absolutely delightful with the water. On the finish, the cream fruit really carries over. Man, cannot recommend this whiskey enough. Um, if you have a bottle, Make sure to try it with just a little splash of water. I really do think that it, it elevates this even to another level. Uh, what's already really a, a truly exceptional bourbon, a transcendental almost bourbon, one of the best, if not probably the best bourbon I've ever had. Water takes it up even to another notch. So uh, that's all I've got, guys. Hope you all have a great day. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments or uh, reach out to me on the Facebook group if you want to chat more about it. But have a great day, guys. Cheers.